Hello everybody, GL1 here, and welcome to my online toy museum. And I know a lot of you have been wondering what's been going on with GL1's uh, toy collection of Buzz Lightyear. Well, I'll tell you, some interesting things have come about, and uh, I'm going to start with some of the Hot Wheels cars uh, from Mattel. We have a Zyklops. All right, so um, take a look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Let's open it up. All right, so there's our Zyklops car. And let's compare that to a little Zyklops, which we also haven't seen yet on this show. So here's a little Imagine X Zyklops. Uh, limited articulation, no waist turning, and the arms just go up and down. You have a little force field uh, shield that can go snap on there. But you can see the vehicle looks like a Zyklops, right? So that's pretty cute. And look, you can, I guess, stick other things on to him or stick him onto other things. But anyway, that's the Zyklops racer. And we have a Izzy Hawthorne racer as well. So let's break that open. All right, so take a look at that. And we can see, how does that look like her? Right, you can see it looks like her armored outfit, right? And then on the back, it'll tell you, I saw the cat. Um, I don't know. I thought it was too much money for what it was. But we have the Space Alpha Buzz Lightyear car. All right, and there you go. You got that. Looks a lot like an older um, Ferrari or even Porsche racer, Formula uh, racer. And then we have the XL01 Buzz Lightyear car. I like this one, looks like the um, Ford GT, the old Ford GT. So take a look at that. You got all these little electronic accoutrements on there. Jets in the back, just like the ship. If you wanna see uh, some of the other toys, I have Several other shows that I've done on Buzz. Uh, show number 211, 199, 163, and 159. And you can see where I covered the spaceships and Zerg and uh, his big spaceship and some other things. And, and also radio-controlled flying vehicles. Speaking of Zerg, we have a Zerg vehicle. And so nice and beefy and powerful looking with these big old tires. And if that wasn't awesome enough looking, they took that body, that uh, well body, and they put it on a bigger chassis and made it into a monster truck. So here you go, Mattel monster truck, Zerg, and then they did the same thing with the Buzz Lightyear, with the Alpha, and they took the Alpha and gave that a monster truck chassis right and there's you got the engine in the back there and you got another engine hidden up under the front so nice and powerful looking and um they're gonna race now oh and we also have this uh this is not on the package but the armadillo and we can have that race too so if you look back at show 180 three months ago i did a big race of the best cars to find out what was the fastest car of 2022 and part of 2023 hot wheels what was the fastest hot wheels car what was the fastest matchbox and then we raced them together that was episode 180 and um, we're going to use that track and we are going to race these vehicles on that track to find out but what we can also do is find out what is the fastest monster truck. Now, we will not be able to use the electronic sensor on which one won the race, so we're going to have to do something old-fashioned and actually use our eyes to tell which one won. But these can actually ride, they can straddle the track that keeps these cars in line, and they can actually roll down the track. So we're going to check to see which monster truck is the fastest, 
and we're going to use the monster trucks that were in show 253. So I did a big show on a whole bunch of monster trucks in 253, and we're going to race them against our Buzz Lightyear monster trucks. But I have also have new monster trucks that we're going to find out. I have some various Grave Diggers and Bigfoot, Spider-Man, and even Barbie. So we're going to find out what's the fastest monster truck there. But that's not all for today. So we're going to compare our Zergs. So here we have an Imaginex Zerg that came in a two-pack with this fella here. All right. Our Zyclops. All right. So they went clearance, so they were $3. And there you go. You got Zerg. And he look, he has lateral articulation. Oh, you know what? The Zyclops does too. No, oh, sorry, not the legs, but the uh, shoulders do. So that's good. Yeah, so Zerg has lateral articulation in the shoulders. And the legs, uh, they actually only move. I don't. Eh, it seems like they only move together. So they might be connected internally. Let's see, the Zyclops, yeah, same thing. Okay, so you don't want to move those separately. All right, well, there's also this set here, uh, also clearance from $17 down to $3, and Imagine X Buzz, and we have Zerg, and he, you have a missile, and you can put that in his arm, and he can fire that, and let's open that up real quick. Okay, so here we go. We got our Zerg, and we can put that in there. And, all right, so lateral articulation in the shoulders is bending in the waist, but the legs, again, they bend together. So really, it's exactly the same articulation uh, profile as the small one, except that you get the launching triple, uh, well, it launches as one missile, but it's supposed to be like a triple missile, right? And then that can blast, um, you know, at buzz. And then there you go, you have your buzz, lateral shoulder motion, head turns, all right. Legs move together, but all right. So that's our buzz, that's all he comes with. And if we look at the scale, oof, that's uh, much larger. And then, you know, so this would definitely not quite be the right scale. This is how much bigger he is. But we can go even larger. We have this Zerg here, right? And then this one actually has three separate missiles that fire, so that's cool. And um, you have a head that can roll all around, elbows that bend, shoulder articulation, knees, hips, and he even twists. Now, what is the problem with this figure? Well, the arm falls off too easily, way too easily, okay? So that's annoying. Um, you can come put on the other arm, so there's his hand, you know, the arm that doesn't, that just has a hand on there, and that turns, the wrist turns as well, but it definitely falls off too easily, okay? Although this one sticks in a little bit better than the one with the missile, but, you know, you'd have to be careful so you don't lose that. You even have a little bit of foot motion, all right? Well, and this is not even the biggest one. They even get larger, and then we have the big, giant, like, 13-inch zerg all right so great articulation in that the arm doesn't come off let me actually back this camera up all right there we go and look at how much larger he is than that one and if we compare that to our little imaginex buzz it barely comes up to the ankle right so just he could stomp on him and uh, does not have the waist articulation but good head flexion to get that expression and elbow and it turns here. And so this is really quite a value, this guy, um, you know, with the waist, it has pretty much all the articulation of the big one, but you have the arm that switches to fire the missile, which is cool. You could um, try putting saran wrap on here and seeing if it makes a better seal and so that the arm doesn't fall off as easily. I haven't tried that, but that's that often works uh, quite well. I wouldn't use tape because it might get stuck in there and then you might have a hard time getting it out. Uh, a lot of times tape is good. Well, we're not done. So we've been waiting, we uh, here at uh, the Toy Museum, GL1's Toy Museum, to open up this package right here. So here we go. This here, 
quite a value and down to six dollars so it's so fantastic uh, when things go clearance so let's open this up okay so here we go we have this big buzz now you may have seen on uh, one of the other shows that I have one of the original Buzz Light years uh, all the way back uh, from the before time during the long, long ago, uh, as they would say in Mad Max 3, Beyond Thunderdome. Uh, so this one doesn't do any talking, but I like it because it you don't have to worry about electronics getting damaged. You have really nice articulation in the knees and uh, elbows and hands, shoulders. You know, so just an action figure, right? And um, what's nice about it, too, you have your helmet that goes on. And you'll see that in one of the other shows, I have a larger buzz, um, but it doesn't have the wings. And it doesn't have the helmet. So, you know, everything's gone clearance. So for $6, this is just awesome. So you can mount this onto the back, and that just plugs right in there because you know you got to have wings on buzz right and then that just all right you can just manually pull those up no button to spring them no button to go wrong um on the old ones you know sometimes they would come undone uh and and it wouldn't work anymore and you'd have to open it up and try to f repair it which i had to do uh for young gl1 uh for uh, my son so and Buzz Lightyear has a gun, and you may remember I had a Buzz Lightyear transformer that I showed that I got for uh, my son when he was little, and it shot a missile, and we said the missile was a tickle missile, and it would tickle Zerg, and so that's, you know, to get away from kind of the violence of the whole thing, but there he is, uh, nice big Buzz Lightyear, excellent articulation, just a good Barbie-sized action figure, so... You know, you can play with larger dolls and action figures and things like that. And if you want to scale him to the big Zerg. So there we go. Zerg is still bigger. Uh, not as humongous as he is in the a Little Imagine X set. But you can see that certainly intimidating. And uh, Buzz is going to have his work cut out for him. In, uh, with Zerg, right? I mean, look at the size of those feet. Those are some stomping feet on Zerg. So, are you excited about the monster truck race? Uh, I am very excited about it. I can't wait to do it. And so we won't be waiting very long. I will be doing that uh, within a day or two. We'll have a big monster truck race, and we're going to find out what's the fastest monster truck. And then we will also do a character car race, among all the many different characters I have, uh, Disney cars and Scooby-Doo and everything, and we're going to compete those against the Buzz Lightyear uh, Hot wheel size cars, and we're going to find out what's the fastest character car. But the Monster Trucks, I think, is really exciting. So look for that coming soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care.